I don't mind slow burn movies, but when the slow burn turns into something that you've seen before, it becomes a little slower. Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Futon reviewing Handling the Undead. What is this about? Pretty simple premise. This is a Norwegian film where all of a sudden, boom, an electricity attack happens. And randomly, a kid comes back from the dead, a mom comes back from the dead, and an old lover comes back from the dead. And what do we do with the undead? How do we handle them? It's in the title. And each family does it differently. So, did I like this movie? Like I said right before, I don't mind slow burn movies. I don't mind slow burn horror movies. But this doesn't bring anything new to the table at the very end. At the core of this movie, it's a zombie film. And you've kind of seen it before where if there's a zombie with a family member, how do they act? Are they going to take the zombie in? Are they going to try to help the zombie? Are they going to finally realize, you know, that character is dead. My mom is dead. My son is dead. My lover is dead, and that is that. And like I said, this takes three different stories and shows them in different ways. So talking about the positives, I do think that it is shot very well. The slow camera, the cinematography, getting to know each character by focusing on them and panning on them. There are interesting elements in the movie, especially one with a mom trying to commit suicide. And it's like, it was pretty harsh, as well as a bunny scene. And the bunny scene... It is the sound that really gets under your skin. So the sound design in this movie is fantastic with hearing the trees, hearing the birds, hearing all the knocks in the coffin, hearing the rabbits. It is very good sound design on that level. And I do think the acting by everyone involved is good. It is very solid. You understand what they're going through and you don't have confusion on what they're actually believing. With that though, the script is very very anti-dialogue and what I mean by that it's a lot of slow moving of the camera it's a lot of watching people eat it's a lot of watching the forest don't expect a lot of dialogue through some of these characters talking it's just not in the movie and I did hear from someone where like one of the scariest scenes in the witch is just watching the trees and the sound effects and I do get that you know That horror aspect to it of like when I'm on a cruise and I look out in the ocean, that shit terrifies me because it's a never ending just water and you have really no idea what's underneath it. You have no idea where the next piece of land is at and that horror of not knowing is probably some of the best horror ever. Unfortunately, the horror here wasn't there. I know for a fact I looked and they said the third act just goes bonkers. Nothing in the third act to me goes bonkers. It's just a movie I've seen before. This is the same uh, book author who did Let the Right Ones In or Let Us In, the other Norwegian one. I think this is his fifth book. Um, I am intrigued by what the book is and taking it from a book to a screenplay. To me, it didn't transfer well, honestly. Like I said, I understand the stories. I knew where it was going. Like I knew the one with the son. I kind of knew where it was going. The one with the mother. You kind of know where it was going, especially with this bunny scene. The lover one. I'll say it's the one that you don't know the most because it's very, like I said, anti-dialogue. And it really just cuts between these three families. And it is what it is. Um, I do think that they should have explained a little bit more with why. I don't Maybe they don't need to explain. But there's a cop like knocking on a door and they kind of ignore that. Or where these other bodies are coming from. Are they just randomly coming out of the ground? Or is there something else That's making the undead come to life and do what they're doing. Because I doubt an undead person will be able to dig six feet and come out of a coffin. Because even in this movie, there's a scene where the grandpa is unscrewing the coffin. So it's locked from the outside in. So there's no way there's dead people coming out from the ground. So where are all these other dead people coming from? The morgue? Who knows? But overall, handling the undead, yes, you can be unsettled by this. But it was too much of a slow burn for me. I liked some of the sound design. But just the overall package itself. It left me unfulfilled. And kind of wanting more. So handling the undead. Will receive a 2.5 out of 5 of futons. Which equals at 50%. So see the critics and news scores gave this one.
Oh, it's Sugama Poop. There is eight or nine of them, and it's at 100%. Oh, man. I'm curious about the three out of five, a B, and nine and a half out of 10. So we got a 60%. Yeah, for me, it's a 50. Um, like I said, I don't mind slow burns. I love horror movies, but this one just didn't tickle the pickle. What? <laughs> 150. Chase Lock here at the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know things about Topia. You Blue Tony, just thank you for watching. Have a great day. That's the wrong saying. I'm despicable.